you are a beginner looking for a simple dress to make or beginners sewing project or your first project this is the right video for you this is a well detailed tutorial on how to make a simple beginners dress this can serve as your first sewing project as a beginner hi fashion lovers you are welcome back to my channel in this tutorial you are going to be learning how to make a simple beginner's dress just like what you are seeing on the screen it is very easy and simple to follow if you are interested let's get started to get started i'm going to be making use of two yards of african print fabric so i've gone ahead to cut out two pieces of this fabric and the width i use in cutting this out is my highest body circumference one quarter of my highest body circumference so in my case my hip is the is my highest body circumference so whatever is your highest body circumference you want to go ahead and divide by four and then add extra four to five inches extra four to five inches so that is what you are going to be using to cut out your fabric and as you can see is unfold and i cut out two pieces of it and the length of this fabric is 45 inches which is the normal length of an african print fabric these two pieces are on fold as you can see they are on fold and i'm going to be cutting the front and the back together that is why i join the two pieces together so you want to go ahead and mark one inch as your starting point line one inch as your starting point or your shoulder line and on that line you divide your shoulder by four whatever your shoulder is you divide by four and mark then you want to go ahead and mark your sleeve length so i'm going to be marking four inches as my sleeve length because i want the sleeve to be short so you can use more than four you can use five you can use six and you can also use three inches so i mark half of my shoulder measurement four inches for my my sleeve length and i'll go ahead and mark 1.5 inches for the sleeve hemming allowance 1.5 inches and from that point i will come down by 1.5 inches as my shoulder slope on the shoulder line i will mark three inches and then i'll connect my shoulder slope like this did you see that so this becomes my shoulder slope so the next thing is to mark your neckline so i'll go ahead and come down by two inches for my front depth neckline and i'm going to mark five inches as the front width and then you want to go ahead and connect so the neckline i'm using for the front is five inches as the width of the neckline and two inches as the depth of the neckline for the front and for the back i will come down by one inches by one inch and connect so what i use for the neckline is the front five inches by two inches and the back five inches by one inch so i have the two neckline five inches by two inches for the front and five inches by one inch for the back but if you are on a on a plus size you, you have a bigger hair you make big hair you can decide to use five inches by three inches for the front and five inches by 1.5 for the back if you are a plus size you are not a slim person you are a plus size i would advise you make use of five inches by three inches for the front and five inches by 1.5 inches for the back and i hope you are cleared so from this part and after the shoulder slope you want to mark half of your armhole circumference my circumference armhole circumference is 15 half of it is 7.5 and i mark but i marked eight inches so half of my half of your armhole circumference plus one inch mine is seven inches plus one inch is going to give me eight eight point five inches so the half inch is serving as your 
is allowance and the other half inch is serving as the sewing allowance on the armhole the sewing allowance on the armhole you can just go ahead and connect a straight line there so that armhole line becomes your chest or your bust line so on that line you mark one quarter of your bust circumference plus one inch for sewing allowance and one inch for ease one inch for sewing allowance and one inch for ease so from the shoulder you mark shoulder to your waistline and connect a straight line you mark one quarter of your waist measurement one inch for ease and one inch for the sewing allowance so it's going to make it two inches and that is what i marked so from your waistline you want to come down by nine inches depending on your hip line but most persons their hip line is nine inches so from my waistline i came down by nine inches for my hip um line and then i will mark one quarter of my hip measurement plus one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance making it two inches so that is what i marked and i'm going to go ahead and mark the full length of my dress which is going to be 38 plus two inches 38 plus two inches for the hemming allowance and then you want to connect so whatever measurement you have on the hip line you want to go ahead and transfer it on the hem part plus the sewing allowance and the ease allowance and also on the hemming allowance you transfer and then you want to connect for that hemming from the down part you connect with a straight ruler to meet with the hip line and from the hip line you connect to the waist line And from the waistline you connect to the chest line this is very simple mark one quarter of your bust circumference on your chest line plus two inches one inch is serving as your ease allowance and the other one each inch as your sewing allowance with your curve ruler you make a curve on the armhole did you see that you make a curve on the armhole so this is it i brought the camera close for you to see so this is what we've been able to achieve so i will go ahead and cut this out so to cut it out you are going to start from the back neckline as you are cutting the back neckline you are adding half inch for sewing allowance as you are cutting the shoulder you are adding half inch for sewing allowance trim off every excesses then cut through the the sleeve opening to the armhole and to the bodies of your dress so after i was done cutting this is what i have at this point i forgot to cut out my front um neckline but i later did it on the video so the next thing i want to do is that on my waistline i would like to notch because that is where i'm going to be putting my pocket you can decide to come down by one inch from the waistline and put your pocket but i decided to put my pocket on my waistline so also on the hemming allowance on the down part i also notched it to know to to be to be able to trace it when i'm cut when i'm sewing it so the next thing this is the remaining pieces from the two years that i made use of and i'm going to be using it to cut out my pocket to cut my pocket i'm going to be cutting two pockets at once so i folded this by 7.5 inches and the length i'm going to be using is 9 0.5 inches so it's on fold like this 7.5 and the length is 9.5 you can see it's on fold 7.5 and the length is 9.5 so that is going to be my pocket so i'm going to fold my fabric again and you know cut out the other pocket so this pocket is going to be into four pieces and as you can see it's on fold so i'm going to be slitting the fold opening i'm going to slit it did you see that I'm going to be slitting the fold but before I do that let me just fold everything together and get a curve you can come up from the down part by 1.5 inches and get a curve for your pocket so you want to go ahead and open the folded part so by the time you open it up you have four pieces of your pocket and then you trim off the excess 
around here. So the next thing is to cut out my facing and the remaining fabric I'm going to be using it to cut out a facing. So what I will advise is if your hip is below 40, 2 inches will be enough for you. But if your hip is above 40, go ahead and make use of two and a half inches or three inches for this dress. So I went ahead to, to cut off the neckline of the front. And as you are cutting the neckline, you add half inch to it. So the, the remaining pieces, I'm going to be dividing it into two. So one is going to serve as my one is going to serve as my facing for the front, and the other my facing for the back. At this point, I didn't know that my camera cut off this process, so I just placed a piece of fabric underneath, underneath my main fabric, and then use it to trace the neckline and the shoulder part and when you are done you want to make a curve around it and that becomes your facing so this is my facing for the front and for the back you grab your piece of fabric and then place your fabric your your main fabric on the piece and then trace out cut out the neckline region and the shoulder region and then make a curve at the damn part so sorry about that my camera cut off this part so when you open it up this is what you are going to have as your facing you are going to be placing the facing right side or the good side of the facing will face the good side of the main fabric and you go ahead and stitch by half an inch on the neckline so you want to go ahead and pin especially if you are a beginner so after you are done pinning you want to mark your half inch did you see from the for the neckline so you are going to go ahead and stitch this facing by half an inch and for the front part you want to open it up and grab the facing let the good side of the facing face the good side of the main fabric and you also use your pin and hold it down then trace out your neckline by half an inch you can use your tape and trace it out if you are a beginner to avoid mistakes to you see then you want to go ahead and stitch by the half an inch which is going to be the sewing allowance so if you are a beginner i will advise you make use of three yards of african print fab fabric for this style to avoid mistake or in case you make any mistake you'll be able to correct it so when i was done sewing this is what i have for the for the front part and then you want to notch all around it and once you are done you flip those facing to the wrong side and this is what you are going to have did you see that very easy and simple So grab the other part which is the back and then notch around this. So the notching helps the, the facing to relax well. Then you want to flip the facing to the wrong side now. And this is how your neckline should be. At this point you can go ahead and press it down. Go ahead and iron. And after that you bring your front and back together and let the good side face each other the right side face each other and then you're going to be pinning it on the shoulder you want to go ahead to your sewing machine and join by half an inch on the shoulder and you also want to do the same for this part you face the right side of the front will face the right side of the back and you pin on the shoulder and sew by half an inch and when you are done, this is what you are going to have. I've gone ahead to sew. So I'm going to turn it to the right side now, to the good side. So this is the right side. I'm going to grab my, my pocket and place it on that notch I did on the waistline. Our, the right side or the good side of the pocket will face the good side of the main fabric and you want to go ahead and sew by three quarter of an inch. The sewing allowance I added was was one inch but i'm going to be stitching the pocket by three quarter of an inch and then you want to sew the four sides so you want to go ahead and sew the four sides four side of the pocket and by the time you are done this is what you are going to have you are going to place you are going to grab the fabric place the good side to the good side did you see 
the good side of the front will face the good side of the back and then you want to start from the armhole by the half inch you added on the armhole and then you start tracing it to the pocket to the damp parts so from the armhole you start by half an inch and then to the side seam you mark your one inch did you see your side seam should be one inch but on the armhole you mark half an inch and through your pocket side your pocket you sew by half an inch please take note of that inside the pocket you sew by half an inch but on the side you sew by the one inch you've added very easy and simple you want to go ahead and sew the two sides and when you are done this is what you are going to have you can see i've gone ahead to sew the two sides and this is what i have after i was done go ahead and notch the pocket side like this did you see the way i'm notching it but don't get to the sewing allowance did you see and also notch like two times on the armhole notch two or three times on the armhole and then notch on the pocket side this is going to make your fabric to relax but please don't notch to the point you will cut off your seam or cut through to your seam so the next thing is to fold the hem part of the sleeve you want to hem your sleeve and the sewing allowance we added is 1.5 inches so you want to fold by half an inch and then fold by one inch making it 1.5 inches that you added for your hemming allowance on the sleeve fold by half an inch and fold by one inch making it 1.5 inches and then you want to go go to your sewing machine and stitch around it did you see it might be very difficult for you but i would advise as you are trying to stitch try to notch through the sewing allowance please notch through the sewing allowance so that it will be able to relax for you to sew so fold the first one half inch and fold the second one by one inch and then go to your sewing machine and stitch and when i was done this is what i have so i want to bring it close you can see i notched the sewing allowance that is what i was saying when when you are folding it it might be difficult for you to sew but when you fold it in try to use your scissors and notch the sewing allowance like this it will help to release the tension and then you'll be able to sew through it i believe you understood what i'm trying to say so let me show you what i did actually so i folded the first part and folded the second part and then with my scissors i notched and notched and notched and went ahead to sew fold the first and fold the second allowance notch through it like this did you see notch through it and sew round so that was what i did on the same part of the sleeve so I'm, I'm explaining this because i believe we have beginners among us so for your first thing you can either fold it fold the edges or use your overlocking machine and you know overlock it go to your weaving machine and weave so we'll go over to the down part then you want to go ahead and fold your hemming allowance of two inches fold one inch first and fold the other one inch making it two inches and then go ahead and sew round fold one inch and fold the second inch and then go ahead and sew all round and when and once you and when you are done sewing this is what you are going to have this is so beautiful easy and simple to follow you can flip it over to the front part and this is what we are going to have i believe you enjoyed this video to this very point don't forget to like share and subscribe so i will try this dress on for you to see the final result it came out so beautiful and perfect this is the final result it came out so beautiful and perfect you can go ahead and style with your belt thank you guys for watching and see you in my next tutorial till then bye bye